Bungie revealed gameplay of Final Shape, which included a brand new subclass called Prismatic. They ended up also posting an article that talks more in depth about the subclass, and we are going to go over it now. You will unlock the subclass right after first mission in Final Shape, but you do have to unlock all the other abilities by either playing the storyline and have it drop as a reward or you can also find prismatic chests in the world afterwards or even get it dropped after defeating a tough battle. So your super melee grenade and aspect slots will feature a selection of light and darkness abilities. You even have the ability to select all movement modes and class abilities including class specific ones like phoenix dive, acrobat dodge, and thruster. Please keep in mind though that they did did mention they tuned the abilities, they just didn't say how much, they did say we're supposed to find out more soon. And lastly, they also noted that the aspects that were damage type specific have had their requirements loosened when using Prismatic. Next, we're going to talk about more in depth of all the subclasses for the Hunter, Titan, and Warlock to talk about the supers, class abilities, movement modes, melees, grenades, and aspects that you can find under Prismatic. Before I start, I'm going to include this looking symbol on certain items, which means that you unlock this right away, and if this symbol is not along with other items, that means you actually have to play the game a bit more to unlock it. Up first, we're going to start with Hunter Supers, which you can choose from Storm's Edge, Golden Gun Marksman, Silence and Squall, Silk Strike, and lastly, Shadow Shot Deadfall. For class abilities, it is Marksman Dodge, Gambler's Dodge, and Acrobat's Dodge. For movement modes, we have high jump, strafe jump, triple jump, and blank. And then for melee abilities, we have combination blow, knife trick, withering blade, threaded spike, and snare bomb. Then we have grenade abilities, which is arc bolt grenade, swarm grenade, dusk field grenade, grapple, magnetic grenade, and lastly aspects, which are ascension, gunpowder gamble, winter shroud, threaded specter, and stylish executioner. Up next, we're going to talk about the titan subclass, starting with supers. Starting with supers. We have Twilight Arsenal, Thunder Crash, Blade Fury, Hammer of Soul, and Glacial Quake. Class abilities, there is Towering Barricade, Rally Barricade, and Thruster. For movement modes, there is High Lift, Strafe Lift, Catapult Lift. Moving on to melee abilities, we have Shield Throw, Thunderclap, Frenzied Blade, Hammer Strike, and Shiver Strike. Then for grenade abilities, there is Suppressor Grenade, Pulse Grenade, Shackle Grenade, Thermite Grenade, and Glacier Grenade. And lastly, for aspects, we have Unbreakable, Knockout, Dranger Slash, Consecration, and Diamond Lands. And lastly, we're going to go over the entire Warlock subclass as well, starting with Supers. Starting with Supers, Song of Flame, Nova Bomb Cataclysm, Storm Trance, Winter's Wrath, and Neil Storm. Then we have class abilities with Healing Rift, Empowering Rift, and Phoenix Dive. Moving on to movement modes, there is Burst Glide, Strafe Glide, Control Glide, and Blink. Next, we have melee abilities, Incinerator Snap, Pocket Singularity, Chain Lightning, Penumbra Blast, and Arcane Needle. Moving on to grenade abilities, there is Healing Grenade, Vortex Grenade, Storm Grenade, Cold Snap Grenade, and Threadling Grenade. And lastly, we've got Aspects, which includes Helion, Feed the Void, Lightning Surge, Bleak Watcher, and Weaver's Call. Up next in the article, we are going to start talking about Transcendence. If you're unsure what that means, it is basically combining a light subclass and a dark subclass and using it together as an ability. So there is a lot of information that's going to come with Transcendence. So if you are using a Prismatic subclass, you will have a new bar below that energy bar, which is the new indicator for Transcendence, the light and darkness meter. So as you can probably tell there are two bars. The left one is going to be for your light aligned debuffs or buffs, meaning like arc, solar, or void damage. That bar will fill. Now, the right bar is going to be for the darkness subclasses like strand and stasis or any kind of darkness aligned buffs and debuffs. That means the right bar is going to fill. Kinetic damage actually fills in both of the bars at a reduced rate. However, it gets an increased rate if one of the bars 
bars is completely filled. Whenever both bars are filled, Transcendence is going to be available, which means your melee and grenade energy are instantly refreshed and regenerated more quickly. Dealing damage with a grenade further increases your melee regen rate and actually vice versa, and your weapon damage is slightly increased and you are more resistant to incoming damage, and lastly, you will have a new grenade which is unique to each class that deals both light and dark damage. Now let's talk about Transcendence grenades. Each class has their own grenade that is a light and dark subclass combined, and we're gonna start off with Hunter which is called Hailfire Spike. This one throws a stasis solar grenade that attaches to targets or surfaces and then it explodes into a stasis tornado but after some time it actually turns into a solar tornado. Next we have the Titan grenade called Electrified Snare which is a strand and arc grenade that suspends targets doing heavy damage over time and it also chain jolts other enemies nearby. And lastly we have the Warlock grenade called Freezing Singularity, which is a void and stasis grenade that creates a black hole orbited by a halo of slowing ice, and after some time, it explodes, suppressing and dealing heavy damage to all the enemies. Lastly, in the article, Bungie revealed some of the prismatic fragments that I will go over in detail. Now, they only revealed 12 of them, when in reality, they're supposed to be 21, so I guess we'll find out if they end up revealing revealing the others in a future twa. Firstly, the prismatic fragments will allow two or three slots of fragments for you to be able to choose from. Fragments are unlocked for all of your characters after you have unlocked it on your first character. If you are playing on a warlock and you have all of the ones on warlock unlocked, you will then switch over to your titan and have the same ones unlocked. With that being said, let's go talk about all the 12 fragments they revealed, starting with Facet of Balance, which means a rapid kills with a light damage grants melee energy and rapid kills with a dark damage grants grenade energy. Facet of Bravery, defeating targets with grenades grants volatile rounds to your void weapons and defeating targets with powered melee final blows grants unraveling rounds to your strand weapons. Facet of Dawn is actually one fragment you will unlock right away which means power melee hits make you radiant and final blows make you and your allies radiant. Then we have Facet of Defines which which depends on which super you are using, finishers explode that either jolt, scorches, slows, severs, or makes targets volatile. Facet of dominance, void grenades weaken and arc grenades jolt targets. Facet of generosity, defeating targets while transcendent, creates orbs of power for your allies. Next, we have facet of grace, damaging enemies with kinetic weapons grants you bonus transcendence energy, and defeating enemies with your super grants you you and your allies transcendence energy. Facet of Hope is another you unlock right away, which means while you have an elemental buff, your class ability regenerates more quickly. Then we have Facet of Justice, while transcendent your ability final blows explode. Facet of Protection is another you unlock right away, while surrounded you are more resistant to incoming damage, and Facet of Purpose, another one you immediately unlock, picking up an orb of power grants either Amplified, Restoration, Frost Armor, Woven Mail, or Overshield based on the damage type of your super. And lastly, we have Facet of Ruin, which you unlock right away as well, increases the size and damage of the burst when you shatter a stasis crystal or frozen target and increases the size of solar ignition. Now that was a lot of information that they gave us in this article. However, this makes me really excited and wants me to have it right now so I can start playing around with it and figure out some really awesome combos. I think having the light and dark subclasses put into their own ability so you can have two or one of each subclass is an amazing idea and I can't wait to get my hands on that. Now they didn't reveal all the fragments, only 12 of 21, so hopefully you find out about it soon because I'd love to start making combos already. Now let me know what you think about it or if you have any questions because I'd love to talk about it more. Huge shout out to Bungie for literally creating this article so far ahead of Final Shape that we get to find out about it earlier because it makes me excited and I'm sure other people too. But thank you guys so much for coming in and watching. I will see you guys in a future live stream on Twitch or in the next video. Bye!